at the Ruined Keep. Um, you've also got the mayor with you, haven't you? Mm-hmm. You Against his will. Villains. Okay, so let me put... Um, let me go ahead and grab the grab the mayor or grab a mayor for you and put him on here as soon as you see this is when you know I didn't anticipate this because <laughs> I didn't have a mayor sitting waiting to go on here um, so actually I think I have him tagged under noble so let me just grab him real quick there he is Okay, there's your mayor. That I'm gonna put right next to Granny, cause actually next to uh, actually no, uh, I'm gonna Midas. put Midas, cause Midas is the one that's frog marching, gra uh, frog marching the mayor around at knife point. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, Bane, I gotta be honest, that's creepy. That look you just gave, that like <laughs> evil. <laughs> right, yeah, and you, and you say that I have an evil look at times. It's Ooh. so good with the the funny. <laughs> yeah, eyebrows. with the with the eyebrows especially for sure. Oh, man. and also before we go on, we have a donation to thank or two. Oh I yeah. Almost, for, almost forgot. <clears throat> you guys are gonna help me catch. Okay, Angel Girl eighty um, six oh. gave us a generous donation and said. I really just want to see Granny throw the gnome through a window. You know, <laughs> you got her on a roof. It was close. They hurled her clean to the roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. So awesome sauce. Appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here we are. Um, let me describe the scene to you. Basically, as you can see, the roof of the keep is pretty much non-existent. Um, all of these big blue things are, are huge, big puddles of water. Um, there are patches of roof above it that are still intact, which is why the whole thing is not flooded completely. You can see around you various different workbenches, um, scaffolds. Um, it's, it's evident that people have been working hard and diligently to put this thing back together, but not recently. Be beneath a piece of where the scaffold appears to be broken on the far side, there is a bloodstained message that has been written, much like those before. Keep mine, beware, I kill. Keep mine, beware. Yeah, K E E P. Jero just subbed, I think. Yes, yeah, so, I didn't Jer see it. He did. He Jero. Subbed. Yep, Jero subbed. I didn't catch it. Awesome. No, it, for, it didn't. I noticed that he subbed, but the notif for whatever yeah. reason, the notifier did not go off. Oh, Jero, Jero buddy. So here. I'm so sorry. I'll give. Uh, we'll fire one off for you anyway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, give Jero some. Give Jero some rollies. He did sub. Thank you, Jero. Thank you, Jero. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. I was waiting for them to get back, dude. <laughs> so there it is. They. We got you. We're horrible people. <laughs> horrible. Hey, I don't know what it is. Is the last few. The last. You know, it, it was working fine earlier, and then for whatever reason, it just suddenly decided to fail. Um, but it didn't. It didn't appear, and it didn't give the notification in chat either. So it's obviously Twitch again. Gotcha. Um, okay. So here's the scene. What do you guys want to do? Um, over to the side, there does appear to be a rather unsafe-looking stairwell going down, as well. Um. I well, I want to investigate this blood over here. I'm gonna go to the stairwell and just start saying echo. Echo! <laughs> echo! Okay, you yell down the hole, um, and it does echo quite quite loudly. Um, you make a listen check when you do that, please. All right. Hard of hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my listen check is actually decent-ish. He has selective hearing. <laughs> there it is. There you go. You can be talking to him in the same room and he won't hear it, but um, you hear a little drop. Okay, um, you, as soon as you, hear, you you basically echo that down there, you hear the scurrying of tiny little feet and squeaks. Like, <laughs> sound like little rodents and stuff What's scurrying that? away from the bottom. There's something down there. <laughs> Blast it! Anybody got dynamite? Okay, the mayor is looking around <laughs> saying, I, I really do feel that me being here is completely pointless. Um, oh, I've got a great idea. I'll stay up here and make sure nothing sneaks up behind you. Ah, you first, actually, down down the stairs. But it's dark um, down yes. there. I don't do want you think, to go down. 
Being well, alone is your best line yes. of defense. Um, Plus, you're a good human shield. Well, you see, the whole being alone thing is almost preferable because I don't. Well, you're you're quite sinister. I must admit, I don't really trust you at all. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you stuck a knife in my back and forced me up here against my will. Do you want us to stick the knife all the way through your back? Oh, no, no. Uh, just being observant. Uh, 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 of course, if, if you think I should go down and um, not being stabbed is the alternative, then I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Good. We'll be right um, And what, what do I read on the floor? Um, K-E-E-P mm-hmm. space M-I-N-E space B-E-W-A-Y-R space I. K I L L. Keep mine beware I okay. All right, I think I think <clears throat> yes. I think I think the culprit is here. I do. Of course it is. Okay. Um so you want to push the you want to push the mayor down the stairs first? Oh hell yeah. Okay. Right, he begins <laughs> down the rickety dangerous stairs. Okay, after about 7 or 8 steps, suddenly you see him slip as one of the stairs crumbles beneath him as he falls down the stairs into the darkness. You hear huh. ah! See? <laughs> That's why we had you go first. And then at the very bottom you hear us, ah, 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 Help me! Oh, I think my leg's broken! <laughs> help! Austin Bowers right here. <laughs> um, so I just want to kind of yell down, How far down is it? Um, all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Thanks, genius. Uh, I don't know. I kind of fell most of it. I wasn't very. I wasn't really paying much attention. Five feet, <laughs> fifty feet. Estimate, Mayor. Uh, uh, thirty feet. I don't. Honestly, I don't know. I don't recall. All right, so um, I have my rope that I looted from the store. Okay, yes, you did. Um, so is there anything that I can tie it to and, and potentially what? What? There repel? There it is. There you go, Jero. Oh, there it, it is. Jero sub, yay! Wow. <laughs> Talk about late Twitch. <laughs> Holy fail, Twitchy. I, and see, I, that's how I know it's Twitch, because if you notice, it appears in chat, and then yeah. right after that, it appeared on our side. So, Because our notifier has to pull from Twitch first, so... Yeah. Apparently, Twitch didn't care about you enough to Jero. Yep. But we, but we do, care man. about you, but Jero, we yeah. We care! We care! So we there we go. So give, we him, give him, give, well, I know we you've already do. got some rollies, but here's some more for you. I'll yeah. give just you give him, I'll give him a rollie. There, there's some more rollies. <laughs> there's a rollie. There you go. <laughs> Twitch, Twitch equals fail, right? <laughs> Sub high. Alrighty. So, um,. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could. I mean, you could pull one of these benches over to tie the to, uh, to tie the. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not hard. There's so much stuff up here. Huge chunks of rubble. Very easy for you to tie off to. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. Um, okay. So, are you just going to kind of use that as a guide, like walk down but hold the rope as you go down? Gotcha. Yep. In case I fall. So. Got you. I'll okay. Go first. Well, as you head down, um, you find the area. You see the broken steps. Um, and by taking like a little bit of a wider berth, you're able to kind of just stick to the edge more and work your way down into the dark darkness below. Is everyone going with? I'm following yes. too, although I imagine it's going to be tricky because I'm 400 pounds. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 not that bad. You just have to like pay attention to what you're doing. <sighs> okay. So. Um, How's your back? How's your back, Gran? It's been better. It should be That's man. too bad. I was hoping it would be hurting. Right. Gotta love it. Okay, let me do something real here. So mad at being thrown. <laughs> yeah, she's not Melody. happy. I'm gonna go ahead and cover some of this area up for you. Because you don't need to see it. Alright, let's put you to the bottom, peoples. Um, and I need another noble, don't I? <laughs> Actually, I really don't. He's he's laying at the bottom, kind of half dead. But there he is anyway. He's half dead. Oh. Yeah, I'm imagining we'll probably just leave him. I mean, he's, he's got a broken leg. He doesn't feel good. But right, let's move uh-huh. you guys to the bottom. And position yourselves as you will once I get you here. Hold on. <laughs> Ranny spittle crunk. Yeah. Okay, there you are. Uh, there's an archway to the north, but other than that, um, and the mayor laying on the ground, clutching his leg, screaming in agony, that's about all you see. 
We don't see anything, man. And you don't see anything at all? Are you not on here? No, we're still upstairs. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. I forgot, to move. I forgot to move your little tag. Okay, so yes. <clears throat> here you go. Um, Mayor's at the bottom, yelling in agony. My leg, it's broken. Oh, can't you help me? Uh, calm down. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. Okay. What do you guys want to do from there? Press forward to the door. Alrighty. Um, you approach, glancing through. Leads into an open chamber. There's a pillar that looks like originally it was supporting the, the roof. Um, however, this particular pillar is broken down and busted. Uh, which of which of these which of us can't see in the dark? Because we don't have a light source. Uh, like... You all can. Oh, we all have dark vision, really? I think so. Yeah. Yep, I do. God, we're awesome, man. Yep. Hey. We're evil. All, we're of, evil. These, all of these characters and race combos were designed and put together by your chat. So. Thank you, man. <laughs> well, July hasn't been saying evil enough. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's hard to refer to yourself as evil all the time. <laughs> evil. <laughs> Just press it Just on. Just mutter it under your breath. <laughs> I am the most evil of them. Evil. Okay. Evil. <laughs> right, you can hear rats in the distance. <laughs> Furry, creepy, crawly rats. This is actually going to be quite a funny encounter, I have a feeling. Oh, great. Okay, Granny. <laughs> Um, as you continue forward, it's a small chamber leading. Um, you notice several rats are like peering from underneath this archway in the dark <laughs> towards you. <laughs> then they kind of look back behind them and uh, scurry shut back. Shut it! Midas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Midas. Mm. Be a man. I'm more of a man than you. <laughs> oh, shut it! Oh, bag! Shut it! Shove it your whole bag. <laughs> okay, in, inside of this large chamber, there are st there are three pillars still intact. Um, one is broken, and you still see a mm. handful of rats running around. Small, typical rats. <laughs> Come on, shrimpies. Coming. Coming. As you investigate further and deeper into the room okay stop right there so chat let's go back to you guys so they've cautiously explored so far down into here and there's lots and lots of little teeny tiny rat eyeballs are peering out of the dark towards them from underneath this archway like dozens of pairs of little teeny tiny ah. eyes that's, that's what do you how do they, how should they react what should they do I know, um, seriously, fireball. <laughs> what do you guys think they should do? What is, is the solution? How should they proceed? This is this old rat swarm, you're right. It oh, could God. be zombie rat swarm. Wearing fur Poor coats. Midas. <laughs> Poor Midas, he's going to lose his shit. Midas is going to lose it. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's hey. funny. Yeah, that's actually... Just remember, guys, you gave them these traits. So. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ironic. Kill them with fire. <laughs> Fire, fire. Okay. Use the gnome your charge a forward. Ball. Use the gnome as a bowling ball. Um, Midas <laughs> should lose it and run screaming from the room. Midas tries to hop up on top of the granny to get off the floor and get away. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love that. Midas climbs granny. <laughs> granny Granny's just pushed pushed. Midas. <laughs> Push Midas. Well, that's going to be tough because she's going to catch her first. <laughs> Right, Midas should make a willpower check and fails, runs back. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Midas should just use the mayor as a shield. <laughs> yep, that's another option. And it was a great trait, I know, right? It, it's it's just it's funny the way it's kind of worked with this particular adventure. And that's what's so fun is the adventure's written before your suggestions. So when stuff right. just works, it's great. Midas tells Granny to go grab the mayor and throw him in the rats for food. Oh, so evil. <laughs> Get on the nope train to nope bill. <laughs> Just nope. 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 Satch wants to throw the gnome again. They, they like to throw you, Jane. 
they, they love throwing me. There you go. Distract the rats with something. I guess that's where the whole use the mare thing comes in. All right, let's have a look. Let's see. What are we going to go with? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six, oh, seven. my God. It's six. Okay. Chat's decision for you. And I, I re rephrase that right now by saying chat's decision. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Um, we are going... Um, the first thing that we're going to do is... Upon hearing and seeing, Midas is going to make a willpower check to see if she can stand being surrounded by rats. He. <laughs> I'm a he. That's right. He. Um, him. I'm a man. Although the way uh, he's kind of running girly right now. Let's let's willpower see. Willpower. Check. A willpower saving throw. So whatever your willpower save throw base is, plus a d20. And I reckon the difficulty is about a 15 with this many rats. Okay. Can you hold it together? I don't think I can. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I can. yes, okay. Nice. As much as you hate it, um, you know. Nice, man, nice. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really that scared. How many of them are it? <laughs> okay. I'm scared. Alrighty. Um, so you have successfully held your, your self to some level of composure. Alright, continue forward, if you will, Granny. I'm going to stay in the back because I'm extremely I, not really I, wanting me to do this right I, now. Is okay, this a granny. rat? Cause, yes, yeah. that is a rat. Can I stomp on it? Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> rat squish. Do I, do I have to do like a base attack out. for that? Or no, or just... your feet are huge. You just stamp on it. <laughs> it, was, it was stupidly sitting there. I mean, it doesn't seem that scared of you. Okay, as you're looking in, something rather strange becomes uh -oh. apparent to you. There's dozens of little teeny tiny pairs of eyes on the ground, but there's also four pairs of eyes that are a little bit bigger, a little bit taller off the ground. Um, kind of hiding behind some of the refuse and the, um, the pillars that are in there. You just see the eyes glaring out. They're also kind of more Who sinister looking. Just Granny? Um, right now, just Granny, because he's the only one that's level and looking straight through the archway. I don't know what's going on down here, but there's a bunch of things looking at me. What kind of thing? Plus the Midas touch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll kill it. So yeah, I'm squeaking. What kind of thing? <laughs> Are they furry? Dark, dark things. They're just eyes, I see. <sighs> okay, as you hear that, um, you also hear suddenly... From behind you, Midas, um, it like echoed from, well, from the stairwell, no, no less. <gasps> oh, whoops. Surprising. Let me um, do this real quick. Oh, no. I'm waiting in suspense what to see what he's going to do. <laughs> okay. Does they has preciouses? All right. So, um... Yeah, you, you heard the screaming and the murdering come from behind you. What do you want to do, Midas? Um, can I stealth? Or, like, I mean, hide? You, or? Yeah, I mean, you've got move silently and, um... Sneak and stuff, so, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try and hide, if that's possible. Of course. This whole place is pitch black. Remember that. Yeah. Oh. We're in the dark, so. Can I see anything? Um, well, you, not from where you guys are. I mean, you basically, you can see, um, you know, you can see, but you, you, right. you can't see okay. anything through the archway yet. You'd have to right. position yourself at an angle where you could see. Okay, so Midas... Um, you're making a so you're you're pretty well hidden. Um, do you want to try to sneak in that direction? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and sneak. Let's have a All sneaky right. roll. What uh, what what sneak? I don't believe sneak is a thing. So what would uh, you like? Move oh, silently. Oh, you move silently. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, move that's okay. silently roll. If you're sneaking, let's see how quiet you are. <gasps> very very quiet. Ooh, very, 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 quiet. <laughs> very, very quiet. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do your sneaking. Um, and I'm sneak. Which one am I sneaking? 
Am I going to see what killed the, the mayor, guys, or am I coming in? I think I should come I in. <laughs> I think I should come in. I'm gonna. Can I sneak into this room? If you wish. <laughs> All right, let me. She vanished. <laughs> yep. He vanished. Sorry. Crouching down and quietly sneaking yes. into the room. Let me let me open up the room for you. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, um, this is shit. what you see. What the? You're Kobolds. Not... Uh, well, they actually kind of look like rats. Are they furry? They are very furry, and Fuck. they're about. <laughs> Four foot tall. They're about, I don't know, they're about um, Julie Rave size, but they're clutching swords. They look almost human like. Like they've got, Ugh. they're rats, but they've got human like features. Um, and that's what that's, I have to... that's the glowing eyes that Radavan could see. You also see hordes of little teeny tiny rats running around the floor. Do I have to roll to keep my shit from breaking my hide? Um, not from breaking your hide, but you definitely would have to roll if you want to go into the room. Going into this room is something you have no desire to do. It's, it's Kia definitely... can't cast invisibility. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. There is no Kia Long here. Wrong character. This sucks. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to stay here and, like... Just crouch and hide in the corner, like right at the entrance. Okay. I'm having a right breakdown. Well, I'm having a breakdown, man! You guys can see that she's kind of just, like... Huddled in the corner, like, Ugh. looking in terror and fear. So, chat, what should Granny... We know what uh, Midas is doing. Um, trying to hold his sh together. Um, what do you think we should have Granny and Julie Rave do at this point? What should they do, chat? It's down to you. Let's yes. get a suggestion or two. That yawn, though. <laughs> oh, did I yawn? <laughs> now you did. <laughs> now I'm yawning. Okay, I'm milk, so yawn. milk thinks that Granny should throw the gnome in. Oh, you want me to rage? What? Granny should rage and charge. That's perfectly. Yes. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, Run, I don't Granny. want to waste another they rage on this. Dance. Dance. Okay. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Toss the gnome and say, "Do something cool." <laughs> <laughs> I oh like the God. toss notes. Lock Midas Lock. in the room with the rats and laugh. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's an archway. Me. There's no door, so they can't. Uh, the, the best they could do is Granny could block his exit, so we'll do that. So mean. Block Midas in. Okay. Granny should throw Granny. Midas into the room, screaming, Face your Face fear. Face your fear. <laughs> Julie Rave should feel uncomfortable and try to control Granny, so Granny brings an end to this and charge in. How do I control Granny? That's that's not an easy thing. Help Midas <laughs> with the aversion heck? therapy. <laughs> <laughs> granny has a sleeping spell. <laughs> no, Granny Granny don't have squat. <laughs> I think that's just saying Granny should go to sleep. Right, yeah. She should just nod off, but Yeah, you have narcolepsy though. Did, did you get narcolepsy? Is that what we no, said? I'm I'm a sadist who can't hear. And That's right. Okay, because if that would have been the case, we, I was going to say we should have we should have been using those. Twerk. <laughs> Granny should twerk their way out of this. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. All right. What are they going to do? You know that doesn't need to go to that chat. It needs to go in here. Slash. <laughs> let's see. We are going to. Okay. Yep. It looks like, Granny, it would be a great idea to throw the gnome in there and ah! say, Do something cool! As you hurl it through the doorway. I foresee a grapple check coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll win. Maybe. <laughs> Bane looks so evil dressed with that makeup. It's I the know, look, I The entire it look, so it's like, much. I'm scared. Oh, that's not happening. Yeah, you're... Okay, I'm not you're, even gonna bother rolling. Well, a natural twenty, but oh, oh no, never mind. I thought that was her roll. That was your Shaggit. No, Shaggit's is a twenty-eight. <laughs> She'd have to roll okay, a natural maybe twenty. Maybe I'll get a twenty. No. Nope. Um, okay. You see the glint. Cool. You see the glint on Granny's eye <laughs> as she snatches you up again, and you're like, not again. How far does she throw me? Do um, something cool. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a strength test, Granny. How far can you throw this gnome today? 
Right. Here, here she is. She's getting ready to bowl. Ooh, 18. It's 22, ah. yeah. Prefix, thanks for the follow. Okay, oh she hurls you clear to the other side of the room. Tumble check to see if you can reduce the damage you're going to take. <laughs> Granny! <laughs> okay, let's get a tumble check for you. Me? <laughs> yep. We're going to see how much damage, if you can successfully tumble to reduce Peace. some of the damage. Here we go. Nope. Oh nope. my god. All right, congratulations. Ha oh, well, it wasn't too bad. Have two points of damage as you smash into the wall against the other side in a crumpled no. heap. However, your newfound friends, upon seeing you suddenly appear, um, are they going to be able to react? Are they going to be surprised? Or are they going to just waylay what? comes flying in. Let's find out. Slash R1D100. And 50 or lower, 50 or less, it's not good for you. Oh, shit. 65. Oh. Okay, nope. Uh, they're too surprised to react, so they don't <laughs> hack you. Um, you go smashing in, and you're as you kind of pull yourself up off the floor, you're aware of these two nasty oh, rodents shit. moving in towards you. <laughs> Oh crap. Okay, the other two now are heading towards the door. They're yeah, they don't closer Midas. And they're stealthily creeping up towards you. What do you want to do? I think I will sidestep. <laughs> hey Ahiga, what's up man? Didn't see you sneak in. He's been here since the beginning. Oh I I didn't notice him. I guess he was just being quiet. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Um Okay. So what do you think, Midas? You're gonna to try to sneak into that corner and cower over here instead? Yep. Okay. Um, all right, Granny, what are you doing after well, you hurl the gnome through the doorway? Well, I'm gonna charge forward and initiate combat. All right, go for it. Arrgh, it's Fabio. All right, let's switch up some tunes. Um, let's see. I actually don't have my combat music on this one. I should have loaded it. But here, we're going we're gonna to go with this one. Okay. But that's gonna... the start of the stream. Yeah. Now we're going to start over. Here, no, this one's got some... This one gets a little epic -y. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay alrighty. Cool. So you charge in. Let's get some initiative checks for you guys. Let's see. Initiative rolls for our anti-heroes. Yay! Five! Wow, Shagget on a five. <clears throat> we have Julie on a 15. And Midas on a 10. Okay, let me turn... That's a little louder than I want it. Alright. What are these creatures? Let's roll for our were rats For initiative... Any health theme cue. <laughs> Alright, were rat hype. Um, four little were rats all in a row. <laughs> Julie Rave, what are you going to do? Alright, I'm going to use my hustle ability so I can have an extra move action. Okay, good call. Um, so, first I'm going to move straight out of the way here. Okay. And then cast grease uh, right here because I assume they're going to go after me. Alrighty, so you're greasing the floor. Yes. Okay, and yes, you would be right in the fact that they're going to pursue you as quick as their little rat-like feet will carry you. <laughs> as they charge forward towards you, you psychically summon ecto ectoplasmic grease to the floor. A one and a five! Both of them stumble and yes. fall, crashing to the ground as they slip and slide. <laughs> On the Technically, which isn't, it isn't even there, but... <laughs> Do you like this new little grease icon look? Isn't it cool? Oh, cool. Um, sure. Okay. sure. I like it. I can dig it. I All can right. dig it. Good call. Uh, Granny, um, you're not going yet. Midas is going first. How uh, how big are the squares in here? Uh, 10 by 10. Can I come up and shanky shank? Um, Do a sneak attack yeah, or yeah, no? you can. Okay. Yep. So, sneak attack. Uh, 
Um, basically, you make a regular melee attack, which with your short sword is pretty damn high. And you get a plus four to hit as well. So I believe that puts me at plus 12. Uh-huh. <laughs> For 13. Yep, yeah, it's a hit. Uh, so there's d6 plus one damage plus 3d6. So do 4d6 plus one. Damn, the damage though. Shank time. Hit. Ooh. Them fives. There you go. So that is a total of 14 points of damage. Okay. Strangely enough, it doesn't do as much damage as you expected it to. Ugh. Oh no! Yes, they have no! damage reduction. No! Little nasty little wear creatures. They don't. <gasps> they don't die well to normal weapons. Um, okay, but it did. It definitely did hurt it. It definitely did hurt it, which is a good thing. Um, it is now their turn. Okay, these two that are greased are attempting to get up. This one succeeds to get up, but he can't act this turn. Okay. But he is up on his feet. Right, the other two attack Granny with their oh. swords. And the first one hits Granny. For how much damage? For six. He slashes, oh. get, snatches Granny nastily with his little sword, hacking her arm. Well, that's no bueno. What are you going to do, Granny? So I'm going to use my five base attack bonus to okay. do a power attack. Okay. And I'm going to attack the were-rat that um, Midas hit. All right. Go for it. So so without that five, it's just plus four. Got it. All right. Nerd. Oh. Ooh. Nope. You swing, with, you swing with Fabio, but you miss. <sighs> Alrighty. Uh, Julie, it is your turn. I'm going to get kind of behind this and then at the rat that uh, this one, I'm going to cast Energy Stun. Oh, okay. Alright, so you roll for your d6 points of damage. Hoping to stun it. Hits, Please stun. Uh, and it does stun it. Yes! Yes. Good. Yes. And, um, and it did seem to be hurt by your sonic blast. Okay. How long does it stun it for? Just one round? Uh, or yeah, it's, one only, round? it's a brief stun. Okay. But um, it is enough to keep it out of combat for a bit. Um, so it is now the Midas' turn. Okay, this one has turned to face you. So, um, but it's still just one. What are you going to do? Steady step. <laughs> All right, go for it. So it's just regular melee attack now. Yep. Oops. 163! <laughs> yes! Yay! I win the game! <laughs> 1D, Oops, 208. You what win what? D&D. <laughs> okay, so what? that would be plus um, 8. Plus 8, so that would be 15. 15. Okay, you hit it. <laughs> them rolls, Midas, them rolls. <laughs> you know what? I hit the plus button and the enter button at the same time. <laughs> Shaggett can't say anything with his constant... He used to have a really bad habit of doing that. <laughs> yeah. It's true, it's, it's true, true, it's true. We all, all right, have our flaws. <laughs> Ooh, nice five. damage. Plus one is six. Okay. You stab it. Still, it, it barely seemed to scratch it. Ugh. Tis a scratch. Tis, but a rat scratch. Okay. Where's Kia? Um, it is their turn. <laughs> this one attempts to get back up. And he's still failing. He's slipping around and sliding yes. on the floor. Um, this one is stunned, so he can't do anything. Okay, one of them that attacks Granny lunges forward and misses. The other one attempts to stab Midas, but futilely misses. Okay, it is Granny's turn. I'm trying the same thing again. Okay. I want to boost my damage to the one that's now behind. Uh, I'm Rats, behind, Rats right? Fever. <laughs> do I get any flanking bonus now that he's facing away from me? Um, or... If you hit the one that if you hit the one that Midas is fighting, yes. Okay. Hey! 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 If you get a twenty with this thing, a two-handed axe, it needs a twenty to crit, but it does times three damage if it crits, not times two. Oh. Uh, all right, let's get some serious damage going on this thing. 
Yeah, it's plus nine because I did my D12 plus nine damage. Roll high, roll yeah. high, roll high. Uh, Still for 12. Well. Okay, but it did hurt it. Not a lot. But Jeez. it did definitely hurt it. The force of Granny's Fabio bit upon you. Okay, um, it is... Uh, Julie's turn again. Crystal Shard, the one that's stunned. Okay. Which is... D6 ranged attack. Is that not, is that the same stun? The same thing no. again? No. Yeah. No, okay. it's just one You're D6. just going for the damage. Okay, D6. Nice. Ooh, yes. For six. Nice. Okay. That definitely hurt it. Good. It and better. with that, it's going to get thoroughly pissed off and try to eat you. Uh, yeah. It is Midas's <laughs> turn first, however. I'm going to keep stabbing. Hi. Stabby stab. <laughs> okay, Raisa. Ah, funny. We're all <laughs> okay, doing like, you lunge, the same but thing. miss, unfortunately. Okay, uh-huh. their turn. Okay, this one is going to jump and attack ah. Julie and misses. Yes. This one attacks Granny and misses. This oh, one goes it. for Midas and misses. Can this guy nice. get up? No, he's still down. <laughs> <laughs> he's just slipping and slipping. Okay, Go he's ahead. on his slip and slide. It okay. is Granny's turn. Is it? Oh. Yep, they just went. You're after them. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Summon monkeys. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm All my BAB is to my damage, and that's not working. Okay. You missed again. Missed uh, again like you did last side. summer. I, uh, <laughs> Julie, your turn. You got a rat uh, breathing down on your chick off. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go for another crystal shard. Crystal shard, crystal shard, okay. They're like my magic missiles, I they guess. They really are. They're like a weaker version. Four. Four. Um, that is a total of... I have much more of them, though. Okay. You've killed this one! <gasps> it's dead! You've killed the first rat creature. Praise Jesus. Yay! <laughs> yep, they don't have re- they don't have damage reduction to magical or sonic attacks, only physical, which is unfortunate for Midas and myself. It really is, but you know they also do have other weaknesses, just not necessarily what you're using. Okay, it is Midas's turn. Steady stab. I can't do anything else. Not really. Not with one in your face. Nope. If, if they can get it off you so you can go eviscerate something, that would work. Get it off me! You hit it! Yay! Nice damn, nice hit. Get it off, get it off! <laughs> Ooh, nice. Hey, did a little bit of damage. Um, and actually, nice. you killed it! Yeah! Just enough. Yeah, they don't have much in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is dead. You Yay. killed that one. Okay, um, it is their turn. Okay, the one that's attacking Granny attempts to do so and hits this time. Uh oh. Ouch. For three. Granny. Okay, oh. the other one finally manages to shake off the grease <laughs> and get to his feet. But that's all he gets to do this time. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to kill him. Not yet. Okay, it is now Granny's turn. What is Granny gonna do? I'm gonna do my regular attack. So. Okay. You're giving up on the power attack, huh? <laughs> yeah. It only worked for me once, and I'm still failing hardcore. That's a 15. Uh, hits. 1d12. Oh, 1d. Yeah, 1d12 plus 4. Okay. Yep. d12 plus 4. Hey, oh! Oh, nice. 15. Good hit. Sweet. Okay, yep, that definitely that definitely caught its attention. <laughs> All right, it is Julie's turn. What do you want to do, Julie Ray? I'd like to try to stun the rat again so he can never do anything. <laughs> you're gonna, oh, you're stun locking this one. I see what's yes. going on. Okay, you hit two. this one for two. And let's make a saving throw for stun. Yep, four won't cut it. He's stunned. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, stun he's stunned as well. It is now the l- 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 last... Um, no, it's Rat. Midas' turn. Okay, Midas. I'm this gonna... one over here is stunned. 
Um, Can I this get one here? here is busy a- attacking um, rad- uh, Flank Brandon. it. Can I flank him? Yep, you get a plus two flank bonus for that. And it will be a from behind attack. Um, this thing is a bloodthirsty little creature, so it's not really paying much attention to anybody. 19, it is a huge hit. Woo! Yay. So you're doing 4d6 plus one damage. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, get a rogue behind you, it hurts. Yeah, I see oh, some look at those guys. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> okay, you've got rat blood all over you, but you've gutted the beast. Okay, as these things die, you're noticing that they're turning back to human form, like naked oh my men. Oh gosh. <gasps> Ugh, they're people. Sinister. They're not furry, I'm happy. Yeah, they're, they're less intimidating dead and, and naked. Crazy. Do we recognize any of the naked dead people? Um, you don't, know. Okay, but maybe the mayor did. Oh, it's it, it's Tom. Dead. Dad? Oh. Dad? <laughs> no, like from the people we already met in the village. No, no, I, Sally! I Sally! <laughs> <laughs> It's Racer, Redavan, and no. <laughs> okay, um, so you got this guy stunned for a round, um, and it is Granny's turn. Charge what do you want to do, Granny? You should ask the chat for this one. It's it's obvious stunned. what's going to happen. Well, I'm going to ask. I got I got something for chat here in just a second. Okay. Well, chat's going to get very fun in a moment. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to charge the rat and attack it. All right. I mean, uh, plus four on top of your already massive pluses to hit it. Did he just run over me? Am I squished? I did. Yeah, you're squished. You're squished. <laughs> you're squished. Away! So plus four as well? Jeez. Take on Big Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> that one, though. That's what you get, see? Oh, <laughs> what? That's what you get. That's what you get for trying to knock poor Midas out of the way. That's, all. <laughs> That's what you get. Do I hit or no? No. With a one, uh, a fourteen actually is. That's an, no, that's an automatic. Not a one is always a miss anyway, yeah. so it's not going to matter. A... Oh, but it, it wouldn't have hit either way, so you wasted your opportunity. God, loser! <laughs> All right, uh, new round, Julie, your turn. The uh, rat, the rat is doing. coming too. You stun, you stun locking the rat again. Not a stun, not a stun. Oh, you're just you're blasting it. Okay. Yeah. Psychic blast, five points of damage. Okay, it's hurt. Um, it is now Midas's turn. What do you want to do, get Midas? Over and behind it and stabby stab. Uh, yep, you can. It's still delusionally weary, so. Uh, flanking bonus again is. Uh, give you two. an additional plus two to hit. Thank you. Sorry. Here we go. Oh, nice. Roll. Oh yeah, definite hit. Oh. Wow. Forty-six plus one damage. Here come all those six-sided dice again. One, yeah. six, six, six. Oh, look, nice. look at that. Nice. nice. That damage, though. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Ro- rogues are useful Excellent. if they're allowed to do the job. <laughs> and it's dead. <laughs> Congratulations. There you go. You get a verbal one. <laughs> I am hurt. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am hurt. Because I am rushing to the uh, gold that I see. Okay, um, yes, there's a chest in the corner with gold. How hurt is Granny? How hurt are you, <laughs> Granny? Hurt are I, you? I'm at 25 health <laughs> from 40. Oh, All you're tolls. fine. Oh, you're fine. It is but a scratch. Son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Let me go to... Well, I'm going to go to the gold, too. Yeah, shiny. Everything's shiny. Okay. What do you find in the corner? Okay, you find uh, there's 39 gold pieces, nine silver pieces, a medallion made of gold, which has got like a dragon's head on it. Taking it. Um, <laughs> and a piece of like blood drenched cloth, almost like a little triangle Ugh. of cloth, like um, like a little pouch sort of thing, but it's like a triangular shape. Um, it has a little bell at the bottom of it, um, and there's some kind of ring inside it. Weird. So if you kind of visualize, uh, let me here. Let me. The Deathly Hollows. The Deathly <laughs> Hollows. Let me see if I can find you one real quick to show you what I'm. So I, I'd like to give you a better. I should have already found this. Hang on. I, I want to take the pendant or the amulet or whatever it was. I. But it's a, a dragon-shaped amulet. It's a dragon-shaped amulet. Yeah. Cool. 
Okay, okay this thing, it kind of looks like... Uh, I can't really find one to pull up real quick. It looks like... Um, Basically, it, it's like a conical-shaped bag with a bell at the, a little teeny tiny bell at the very bottom of the bag, and it's got a. Um, as I said, there's a ring inside the bag. Cat it, toy. <laughs> kind of like a cat toy, but it, it's you know it's more like a. The heck. You know, here. You know what? Let me. I'll get. A, I'm going to freehand draw it. Uh -oh. On the map Yay! for you. Draw, <laughs> skills. draw my life. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Here's your bag. Oh, not with that one. I don't want the fill-in one. One second. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest way to show you what it looks like because it's important that I show you. All right, let's have a look here. What does this thing look like? Okay, so it's kind of like a triangular pouch sort of thing like that. It's solid red. Um, and then there's like a little red bobble on the end. Like that. Santa? And, and the ring, it kind of looks like a small Santa hat, I suppose. <laughs> um, and there is a uh, there's a ring down inside it. A ring? Yep. Um, but it know? is, when you notice, the red is actually blood. It's like blood soaked. Ugh. Like, there's actually blood on it. Weird. Okay. What do you wish to do with the, uh, the with the Santa-shaped bag? <laughs> and the ring. Why don't you examine, let's examine the ring. Okay, so you take the ring out. Um, it's made of platinum. It appears to be some kind of signet ring. It also has like a little dragon head embossed on the top. Um, it's, it looks like it could be used as like a, you know, as a, a seal as well, because it's kind of raised out a little bit. Hmm, sinister, strange. Mm. Okay. These rat people obviously had, cur cur uh, had been hoarding all of this stuff down here. Yes. What do you well, wish to do? I think, I think these are the people that have murdered our our friend. Would you guys, would you agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she just agree with yourself. <laughs> um, yes. No, I just what? randomly say yes all the time. Why is that my why thong? You... My thongs are only blue. I don't wear red. Why do you say that? What evidence is it that these are the guys? Well. They're small. Uh... Yeah, they seem they're both the right. Can I check well, out? The only diff the only thing with that is these have got very, or had, in rat form at least, very rat-like feet. What y'all mm. saw before were definitely Ugh. boots. But they were human then. They could turn uh, into uh, Well, and, and they're naked right now. Maybe they were wearing clothes yeah. when they went to town, possibly? Why wouldn't they be? So it's entirely possible. Okay. Mm. Well, let's get out of here. I'm done with this. All right. Let's, so go, take... let's go see what the mayor has to say. Are y'all just taking this. everything? Yeah. Okay. Um, so who has the ring and the pouch? I just need to know who's carrying it. I think one. I was holding it. I okay, was... so Julie Rave has the ring in the pouch. I know that Granny took the amulet. Sexy grand amulet, man. Um, and I took got... the monies. And you took the monies. Okay, so you've got the monies. Cool. Alrighty. So you're going to head out and head back towards town, yeah? Yep. Yeah, well, we're going to go talk to the mayor, but we'll see how that okay. works out. So uh, let's move <laughs> you all. You all head back to where the we'll mayor is. We'll see how is. that works out. And uh-oh... The mayor has been defunct, and his blood been used to write a message. My keep, get out. <sighs> well, I had let's a feeling get out. that would happen anyway. Let's go. <laughs> All right. You're going to head out of here, huh? Yep, going up the stairs. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Up the stairs you go. <laughs> I will retrieve my rope once we're all up. Okay. Um,. You basically start, you know, you're pulling the rope and you're going up. Who's going up first? Uh, I will. I'm just okay. not even reading the message. I'm just going upstairs. All right. <laughs> you don't up know there's the a message. You go. I, well, there is a message. All right. As you're about halfway up and suddenly the rope gives. It goes slack. <gasps> holy no, um, You need to make oh, a dexterity check. You're going to fall on us. That's gonna, me, right? You, um, 
Or no? Well, Radovan first, because he's he's in Not front, Radovan. so he's going to feel the rope give first. Chaz Mondoza, thank you for the follow. So I have, I have to give a tumble check, or what check? Uh, dexterity check. Oh, this is not going to go well. We're trying to see if you can keep your balance when the rope suddenly... Because you're leaning against the rope as you're going up, but not 100%. Dexterity! So let's see what happens. Oh, nope. Granny. Okay, Granny loses her footing and begins to fall. Um, there is a very large, overweight female half-orc comes crashing down directly in front of you, falling backwards. Um, Julie Rave and Midas, you may might want to make a dexterity check to see if you can get out of Granny's <laughs> way so she doesn't bowl you down. Why did she go first? Lyndon, if you just chose to, just bulldozed ahead. Right. Granny, no. ha, ha, you know how Granny is. The Danny, yeah. thank you for the she follow. Just wanted to. Yes. <laughs> okay, you managed okay. to sidestep. Um, you're a lot smaller. It's easy for you to get out of the way. And oh, so you does Midas. Basically, okay. they fling themselves to the side as, Ban <laughs> as, as Granny goes <laughs> crumbling my down hands, the stairs. <laughs> um, okay, you know, here, you take five points of normal damage. Oh, shit, yeah, but, um, okay. Because you are 67 years old, you're in danger of breaking a hip. Um, I'm, kid <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but you are going to take an additional three points of damage from the fall. Okay. Oh, Just because you are old and a fall is more damaging to you than the average folk. Makes perfect sense. I will take that three extra damage. So there you go. Have eight points of damage. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Um, okay, so you guys, you see him go tumbling down and you see the, the rope flop to the ground. <clears throat> Her? Um, it. <laughs> the um, human okay. boulder. Um, Granny, are you alright? Get out of the way, buffoon! And I start. I can't. I guess I can't climb the rope. Uh, you can't climb yeah. the rope. The rope is like. Well, I still call him a buffoon. Yeah. As you pull uh, the rope, however, you notice that, um, kind of looking at it, it's been cut. Oh, somebody's mm. up somebody there, up there right? cut the rope. And at that point, you hear a a little voice yell down the hole at you. Give me my hat. Take the so, mayor's hat um, and throw it up. <laughs> well, it's off my head now. It probably fell off. Okay. My oh yeah, it's probably laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, you yeah. curl it up there. Um, I am probably. I'm, I want to see how badly hurt Granny is. Okay. I am. Uh, I'm on. I, I've fallen and I can't get up. That's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am, my my hip hurts. My back is sore. My. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to Granny. Yes, Granny. I have one healing potion. Right. Do you need it? Oh, it Sutton, would, thank you for the it, it wouldn't hurt. I'll uh, just say that. Uh, okay, you gonna give it to him? Her? Uh, it? Reluctantly give Granny your herbal remedy? I think I think I will. Uh, <gasps> Granny, wow. roll two d eight for your. Everyone, healing. I think I think we need to roll. I uh, need to do gasp in chat. I think yeah. this is a gasp <laughs> moment because. Well, she saved me from the rats and the cat, so I think that's where I'm Okay. The, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you, you don't understand how I much guess. I don't like furry things. Okay, so how much do I have to roll? What is, what is it? Uh, it's 2d8. Heals 2d8 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> you heal yourself. For seven. Yay. There you go. Yay. You poor old lady. Basically... You poor old woman. Way to waste my potion. <laughs> where I was before I fell. That's essentially where I am. Alrighty. I so, Granny, um, you get yourself up, dust yourself off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what do you guys want to do now? Let's get you up don't have the rope to hold on to, but you know it's it's not hard. You just have to kind of watch your step. You know can what I, a broken step is, so... Can I sneak up first? Uh, yes, by all means, do so. Ooh. Okay, do you want me to roll that? Yeah. It's Golem at the top. Make your move <laughs> silently roll. I hope it's Golem. 20. 20, okay, you stealthily sneak to the top. Okay, uh, make a... Uh, do your hide check as well. Because I'm sure you're going to try to be as invisible as you can be. Yes, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, I'm going to move 
those of you that are not actually on the stairwell. Mm. 17. Move you. Okay. So let me move you guys. Um, wrong one. There we go. I'm going to put you in the stairwell where you belong as you sneak your way up the top. <laughs> okay. As you get to the very top, across from the table where you tied the rope, you can see what looks like a nasty short little fellow. Um, kind of <laughs> kind of resembles this. That's hilarious. Let me go ahead and um, make him viewable. Not there. Let's see. Here we go. Here you go. He looks like he's wearing a Lederhausen. Right? <laughs> Is that a fishing pole he's holding? <laughs> he looks so stupid. No, it's actually it's not a fishing pole. It's more it's like a tail. metal hook. Oh, my God. Oh. He looks so dumb. <laughs> you know, Here we go. He looks like he could drown in these puddles of water. Come there you on. go. That's kind of what he looks like. Oh, he actually oh looks really disgusting. Oh, my God. Golem. Blue Moon Girl, thank you for the follow. Okay, that Close actually looks pretty... Pretty messed that up. Looks really okay, awesome. he's kind of mean. Jigs, thanks for the follow. <laughs> okay, um, he's sitting there. He's clutching basically a knife. Friendly creeper, thank you for the follow. Yeah. He's basically holding a knife in one hand, which is probably what he used to cut the rope. And it it kind of looks almost like a little bit of a really rough, ugly-looking scythe that he's holding. Of course, right now the only person able to see this is Midas Welby as he peers out of the darkness. This little ha this little, he's got this nasty little grin on his face, a snarl like mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, Midas? What are you gonna do? Can I sneak closer to him? Uh, you can try, yeah. Let's make, oh, a, okay, let's so... make a sneak roll. All right, as, you, um... as you appear out of the hollow of the stairwell. Magentma, thank you for the follow. Hi, everyone who's new coming in here. Uh, you know, welcome. Pretty okay, G <laughs> 17. Pretty okay, GPN, thanks for the follow. 17. Okay, I've got to make a dice roll for him, a spot check for our little friend. To see, because he is looking in that direction because he knows that that's where something is. What is his spot? Oh, no. Plus, oh. Okay, um, as you come out of the dark immediately he's like you see him kind of squint and look and you, re you realize he has seen Whoops. you um, at that point he laughs like <laughs> and leaps onto the table grabbing what is like a um, basically a, a wooden mallet and he snatches it up and Ooh. hurls it towards you as, as hard as he possibly can um, oh, right. Fortunately, his aim was not particularly accurate, and it hits the wall beside the stairwell. <laughs> you will die! As soon as I hear Midas say that, I'm going to start running up the stairs. Okay. Um, you well, going to run up the stairs? I, I'm, I'm, hobbling at, I'm hobbling up as well. I'm okay, like, are you coming out of the stairway, or are you staying in? I'm sitting in just at the top, peeking my little head out. Chad! 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 Thank you for subscribing! Oh my gosh, Chad! Thank you! Thank you, Chad! There you go. There you go. Excellent! Thank you for the, uh, for the uh, subscription there, my friend. Very rollies much appreciated. Rollies for Chad! Okay, rollies. Give him some Chad. rollies, people! Spam those rollies for Chad! Click Ninja Games, thank you for the follow. Three roll bots trying to ruin our rolly train. <laughs> <laughs> Followers of Slanesh! Love that name. <laughs> I don't know what's you definitely going watch on. our Marks of Intrigue campaign. <laughs> can I charge awesome at him? Um, you, you can, yep. You want to charge out? Okay, you can charge 30 feet. Which will get One, you to about here. There you go. Okay, Julie Rave, you come out of the entrance. Okay. And Vengeance! And so does, and Granny hobbles up behind. <laughs> okay, as soon as he, as soon as you come out, he's like... <laughs> My hat! You've got my hat! And he grabs one of these spikes, like wooden <gasps> spikes, and he hurls it with remarkable strength at Julie Rave and hits her oh, with the spike. Oh shit. For five points of damage. Oh my gosh. All right. At that point, he then, like, runs along the table and jumps to this table here. Yelling as he does so, screaming bloody murder the entire way, like. Oh. Ah! Okay. 
Hey. Okay, let's get some initiatives for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do I do? Okay. Uh, Oh my god, I actually rolled okay. Okay, Yay. Granny. <laughs> Granny is getting Granny into it. Granny is on a, a 17. Uh. Midas is on a 21. Well, mm. fail, 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 fail. Uh, Julie Rave uh, is barely awake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let me roll initiative for my little fellow here. Let's roll for Dirk. <laughs> okay, uh, his initiative is... is... Is that his name is Dirk? Dirk, yep. <laughs> Dirk Diggler? <laughs> Yeah. That's Jeez. what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just dirt. He's going on 22. <laughs> dirt. All right. Dirk is on a 20. Uh, is on a 22. So he's actually first. Okay. What is Dirk doing this round? Okay. You notice there's a big plethora of tools here. Okay. He snatches up what looks like a couple of meat cleavers. Um, like pulls them from the ground. Damn, thank you for the follow. And then jumps down and runs to these stairs. Holy crap. That's what he's doing. Jeez. Amawooza, thank you for the this follow. This guy's insane. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> I I should should have or ex or, no, 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 sorry. Isilin, thank you for the follow. Pray, or Prainful, thank you for follow the follow. Too. Thanks for the follow, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed Ask right Yamata, now. thank you for the follow. Keep them coming. We love you guys. If you're following, that's awesome. Um, please follow if you like the stream, enjoy what you're seeing, and want to come back. Um, if you want to come and hang out with us some more, our schedule is Tuesdays, Mondays, and Thursdays. Mondays and Thursdays is the main campaign, which runs at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we have a DD and d talk show on Tuesdays that runs at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So thank you for coming over. Um, if you enjoy what you see and you want to come back, then please follow and you'll get notified. If not, do not hit the follow button. Simple. <laughs> it's do okay. We, it. we still love you anyway. That's right. If you don't follow us, we're That's still it. like We appreciate awesome. follows as much as everybody else, but we only want follows from people that we know are going to come back. Viewers. But the community is worth it, Not even our, if we're not. Yeah, our community yeah. is amazing. Um, True. Even if we're sucky, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so, and we will be doing a. We'll go to a, uh, in a moment. We'll be finishing this one up, and we'll go to a Q and A, and we can answer all your questions then. And then, all we'll, right. Yeah. Cool. So, um, it is initiative turn, and Midas, you are first, sir. Charge! You killed my friend. <laughs> <laughs> go, Midas. Where do you want to run to? Uh, well, after him. So, about there, I think I can make it. Uh, yep, you can get to there. I, um, Granny. So I'm going, old crone. I'm going to enrage <gasps> my second time. Yes. Okay. Ooh. And I'm going to charge. Now, how far can I go? Because I know that barbarians can go a little Extra further. 10, right? so you can go 40. So each one is 10, right? Yes. So one, two, three. And I'm just going to stomp on this table and I like, do a leap off. That's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It's your granny. Julie. <laughs> Julie Rave, it is your turn, sir. What I'm going to do is throw the hat like right here. The hat? What hat? The hat? Oh, the triangle thing? Is that not what the hat is? Oh, that's what I'm asking you. So that's you're going to assume that that's the hat and that's what you're I'm going to assume that that's okay, the hat. That's fine. I, okay. And then I'm going to run uh, right over here. You know what we're going to do? Just so that we know where it is. Ooh, a little icon. There's your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's the that's best hat ever. Lima, man. thanks for the follow. Outcast, thank you for the follow. Dings, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Mega follows today, guys. Yeah. Mad Mardigan. Mad Mardigan. Willow. Gotcha. Gotcha reference. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Opafee, oh, thank Willow, you for the follow. Yeah. You get it? Mad Mardigan. Willow. Yeah. Where, where are the brownies, though? Is this guy a brownie? <laughs> TFI Willow. Monkey. Thank you for the follow. Hype. Hype. Taluna. Thank you for the follow. We Holy. have a short break going on here as we address <laughs> our follow train. Uh -huh. Baldus, thank you for the follow. Thank you. <laughs> Crouching granny hit in the pen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eucalicious, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Dirk is evil. <laughs> Peekster Gaming, thank you for the follow. Follow train, follow train. Jero's always wanting a train. Here's your train, Jero. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Jenny MC, 
Thank you for the follow. Holy crap, guys. Triple M, thank you for the follow. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just so gonna, you know, awesome. I'm gonna play with my, my fucked up face. Hey, what's up? No. And here are, let's, that's a huge okay. follow train. Uh, let's spam some rollies just for the follow train, guys. I, Everybody yeah. that joined us today, Roly rollies to welcome them. Oh, I did the Gorbat Evil emote. <laughs> <laughs> I was all planned. Actually. This is Twitch at its best. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Indeed. Oh. Indeed. Thank the you, game. guys. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Um, so, and you ran over to the table, Julie, right? Okay. It is our our little fellow's turn. He runs up the he runs up the thing and leaps onto the scaffold platform, and he's running along it, screaming as he does so. Oh my god. As he hurls, he's, as basically as he runs through, he hurls one of the meat cleavers right at Granny. Oh. <laughs> um, it sticks in the table about two feet from her foot, like... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, how um, high is the scaffolding that he's on? Uh, about 15 feet. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. This is gonna okay, be it is Midas's turn. All right. Oh, zero, 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 one. Thanks for the follow. Seeing that, uh, I will go this way. Mile smoke, thank you for the follow. There. Okay, gotcha. Renekibo, Still screaming. thank you for the follow. You're you killed my you friend! So. Okay, the table is about four foot tall. So, just he's 15 foot up on the scaffold. The table's four foot. You're almost six foot. So, just to give you kind of an idea of the height so you can kind of visualize. Alrighty. It is Granny's turn. All right, so I still got the momentum going on, right? I mean, I've been running this entire time. Uh huh. Yep. My, my plan is to do a charging jump, hit the scaffold with my Fabio. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to break the sucker and force him into the ground. So I, I, I like what I'm hearing. So you're gonna kind of jump on the table, and then le as you come up, <clears throat> bring the yeah. axe down hard yes. on the scaffold. Epic. Nice. Let's see what happens. Let's see right. if this plan works. So what Red do I roll? Smash. Do I just do a regular roll to hit? Like um, you're going to make a regular roll to hit the scaffold. Yep. Okay. So I uh, hear you are. Oh, a 67-year-old female oh half Oh, no! Okay. Um, as you step on the table, the table kind of tilts. Your sheer <laughs> overweightedness um, made the table unsteady, um, which puts you off your balance. And unfortunately, right at the opportune moment as you go to jump your foot kind of gives out and you just slide down off the table below the scaffold oh, you're okay you're, you're okay, you're okay but you don't get your heroic leap i'm sorry oh but it was a oh, great man. idea though julie rave what are you doing um is it too far for me to cast grease on the scaffolding um i don't nope. really know uh, what 10 okay. 20 Ooh. 30 40 um you got here you got 10, 40 20, feet. 30 40 okay it's good then. so you're good. good you're just about good you're i'm gonna running. do it here hoping he's still running across yeah oh he's running along the scaffold so okay, yes his yeah. momentum is going oh. definitely away. definitely greasing only the that best up. thank you for the follow and as tech case thank you for the follow thanks guys total fantasy thank you for the follow <laughs> thank you guys greasing it up all right, so you're gonna jump. You're gonna dump the grease spell right on the scaffold, or the grease spell, the grease sonic yes. ability. Okay. Um, <laughs> the bad news is this guy's stats when it comes to skills oh, are pretty insane. He slides like through the grease, almost like surfboard style. Like, as he hits <laughs> it, he just puts his feet down. He's like, shh, slides straight through it. I love this guy. Can we Tax is over here. Amazing. Can we adopt him, please? Um, continues like... to run and he leaps. Make his jump check for him. Yep. Leaps and lands on this piece of scaffold here. Oh my gosh. Um, as an afterthought, he hurls the second one of his meat cleavers oh. at Julie Rave. And he hits you. No! <laughs> for Damn, six points man. of damage. Oh! He's like, ah! And it's like, Lens and okay, hits you right okay. in the collar blow and it's blood everywhere. It hurts like hell. Ah. <laughs> what a nasty little son of a biatch this guy is. Alright. <laughs> yes, he pulled a Legolas. There you go. <laughs> he pulled a Legolas. <laughs> Alright, it is Midas's turn. What's your game plan, Midas? Mm, I'm still... No! <laughs> so, just this is a bloody murder, man. Where do you want to run? It's like... Ah! 
No! <laughs> like changing directions. Up so over the scaffolding. Um, Finish this work. Can I? Okay, is this part of the scaffolding the same height? Uh, it's actually only about ten foot because that rope kind of comes down, and okay. the platform is like suspended. So it's more like a little suspended rope bridge there. Can I like jump and like try and stab from underneath while I'm? Uh, yeah, you could. You're you're five feet tall. Um, you're, I'm six, I think. Or what do you say, five? Five and a half, six feet, eights. somewhere like that. And you've got about, yeah, you've got a couple of feet, and you can definitely leap two or three feet in the air. So yeah, I'll allow you to jump up and take a swing at him. Hell yeah! And All right, just regular, it. or? <laughs> yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look yes. at you go! Not yes. Let me okay. cut his foot off. As he <laughs> runs along, you leap up and hack him in the leg. Roll your d6 plus is a d yes is it d6 plus one damage I think yes. for you four so four okay um, where are we okay you hear kind of a clang and you realize at that point you hit just above but he's wearing metal boots they're made of metal they're actually Heavy. metallic what? boots tiny metal boots he's so cute tiny, <laughs> tiny booties heavy it's boots that would leave <laughs> deep footprints right Ray the Beast thank you for the that follow that makes sense. Okay, ah. yes, it's all coming together now, huh? <laughs> I really okay, like this so guy, I'm not gonna lie. Hit him for four. Good job. And then, um, can I yell? He's wearing metal boots! This is the guy! <laughs> <laughs> this is the culprit! Murder. Granny, it's your turn. <laughs> Granny. Um, okay, so I, I, I have to get up, right? Will that cut no, into not, my I mean, move? You, you didn't fall down. You just oh. you kind of slid off the table to your feet, but you just I, didn't get the jump. I, look, I want to do a running jump attack. I'm sorry, do guys. I really do. So I'm going to do it again without regard to my friend underneath the scaffolding. You are such a selfish is under bag. there. And I am so enraged at having failed. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do a running jump attack. Puss in yeah. boots, right? Okay, go for it. Make your jumping attack again. Oh my god, if this fails again, I'm going to cry. Okay. Yes. It hits. Okay. Um, so the yes. first thing is, you leap through the air, um, and you come with your axe crashing towards this nasty little fellow. Roll the damage. 1d12 uh, plus 6, okay. Yeah, d12 plus 6. Old, old lady barbarian oh. hype. Eight. For a total of eight. Not the greatest hit in the world, but you know what? It hurts. Uh, now, we have other things. So, first of all, Julie... Um, sorry, Midas will be. Yes. Um, <laughs> you have to make a dexterity... Uh, basically, you're making a reflex save. Oh, God. Because I'm coming down on you. Because a six foot seven... Or 400 pounds. 400 pound orc. female old lady half-orc is about to land on top of you. <laughs> well, if anything, this is the best one because I have the highest plus in it. So. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, you leap out of the way at the last minute <laughs> as you see Granny come almost crashing down upon you. Granny, you can make a dexterity saving throw, not to oh. fall in an ugly heap on the floor. Oh, that's not happening. Dexterity, you said? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Reflex save, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> Okay. Well, your heroic leap, you hit him, but as it kind of like as you come down, the edge of the axe kind of catches, you know, the blade part catches a little bit on the scaffold, which distracts your balance, and you kind of fall and slip to the floor. You're okay, but you'll have to spend the next round getting up. Okay, Julie, it is your turn. Well, what happened to the guy? He didn't move or get hurt. I mean, um, <laughs> I'm throwing one of my crystals. Oh no, actually, yes, he is next, isn't he? He is oh, next. Dang it. Sorry. Oh, I was actually saying I hope the scaffolding would break. Okay, or something. nope. Um, he is. Aww. You hit him, not the scaffold. Got it. Right. He runs and jumps to here, and then grabbing hold of one of the side rails of the ladder, he slides down it like fireman pole style. He's going after like, the head. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> my hat, my hat. You guys gotta intercede there. Right. I don't think we should give him the hat. Hello, food. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, now it is Julie's turn. Okay, I'm actually gonna are. do a follow. stun, uh, energy stun. Ooh, good idea. Okay, energy stun. Uh, ranged attack. Jeez. Is it a ranged attack? What does it say? Yeah, yeah it so is. So you gotta hit. Oh, is it uh, a ranged touch attack, right? 
Uh, hold on a sec. What, what is it this? Is which, which ability are you using? What's it called? Energy stun, 1d6 damage, possible stun. Energy stun? Um, okay, nope, hit. that's a, that's a, um, yeah, no, that's, you don't, that's not a ranged attack. That's a hit. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, he has to make a willpower save or be stunned. Let's see how he does. We'll roll this one openly, shall we? Let's do it. His Stop will save fucker. is plus nine. <laughs> Jeez. Um, you have, you're counted as, what is your, um, what's your intelligence? My intelligence is, uh, 16. 16, so... Okay, so he has he's gonna get an eighteen or higher. Here we go. Slash R one D twenty plus nine, and he needs an eighteen or higher uh, to resist uh, the stun. Here it comes. Oh. He failed! <laughs> yes! I think. Yes, sixteen. Yes. He did. Okay, <laughs> you have stunned him. Enough. You hit him with the you hit him with your sonic blast. <laughs> Does six point um how much damage did you roll? Three, right? Three. So you did three points of damage, but yes, he is stunned and dazed. You stop him from charging forward anymore. Um, it is now... Tie him up. Normally would be his turn, but he stunned this round, so he can't do anything. Um, it is Midas' turn. What are you doing, ah! Midas? Okay, I'm still mad. Still yeah, charging. Midas is, like, not happy. Oh, no, I am... I'm. Oh, but, <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, I was trying to move you just so that you weren't, like... You would be uh, able to move yourself so you didn't get come, uh, caught on a granny. Gotcha. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Okay, now he's stunned. Do I get any bonuses? Um, you can make it a backst. I mean, you can basically make it a, 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 a backstab. Yeah. Nice. So I mean, you're going to be at plus four, plus eight. You can't really miss. I don't plus twelve. To roll hit. a d twenty. If you don't roll a one, you're going to hit him. Anything but a one. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but no, you hit him. Okay, so four d six plus one damage. She's not taking, or he's not taking any prisoners. Midas will be once this guy dead. Uh, Oops. Uh, oh, my slash key is, my keyboard likes to not use, like, the slash key. I love the way, if you can actually read this, it actually says, uh, 46 yeah, plus one. That's what I put <laughs> the slash to the E. It does that for some weird that's reason. Weird. Try it again. 40 the damn six. Canadian keyboards are all <laughs> yeah, funky. Yeah, let's blame it on the, that. Let's blame yeah. it on the, blame it on the Canadian keyboard. What right. ones? Uh, two ones. 13. Okay, you Stab him, hacking into his back, and he's it's definitely he's hurt and he's bleeding. <laughs> Serves him right, <laughs> little sod. Okay, uh, Granny, I'm getting up. That's it. I'm done. Oof. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not oh, as dumb not, as I used to be. <laughs> not the smartest of ideas. If Julie, I say so. it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do uh, just my crystal shard attack. One okay. D6. Hit him for six points of damage. D6. For four. Oh, okay. All right. Next turn. Dirk is unstunned. He's suddenly aware that there is a tiefling bearing down on him. Um, however, he wants that hat, so he <laughs> continues to run, giving you another attack of opportunity. Wow. Um, and it will be behind should you hit. But it's only a regular plus four to hit. So secure the little fucker. So regular we can take plus four. Okay. Uh, you get a plus four because you're attacking him from behind. Um, and nice. Yep, you hit him. Okay, so forty-six plus one damage. Come on, Midas, I love you, Midas. He's obviously very obsessed with this hat. Seriously. Apparently. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> we have a total of 16, 40, 46 damage done to this guy. Okay, he continues to run for the hat. Oh. He's How is he still there. alive? He is. Okay. Um, it is. Granny's turn. She's up. What are you doing, no. Gran? So, my rage, how many more turns do I have with that? Because it was like one to get one, two, three. Uh, you can, you can, a charge, you can basically cover here. Hold on. Yeah, um, yeah you can just get to him. Nice. Right, so, I'm going to just get to him and <laughs> do an attack. attack. Okay. Come on, be the epic moment. Come on. Be yeah, the epic romance. moment. Don't let this be little bastard get that hat. <laughs> Be the moment. Be the moment. That's a hit. 14. It's a hit. Okay. D12 plus 4. Uh, with Enrage, it's 6. Oh, yes, it is. Be the moment. Be the moment. I'll take it. 8. 
14 damage. Nice. 63. Okay. It is Julie's turn. All right. He's still not dead. He's still not dead. Him. No, he's I'm not. I'm going to try to stun him. So hopefully this works. For three okay. damage. 66. Here we go again with the stun. Come on. Slash he have 18, R, 1D, right? 20. He needs to roll 18 or higher, but he has a plus nine on the roll. Come on. Here he goes. No. Let's see. Sixteen. Yes. Sixteen. Oh, yes. He failed. <laughs> you stunned him again. Perfect. <laughs> this is what he gets for being so just obsessed close, with like, this hat tipped. to the point where he's willing to yeah. die to get this thing. Obviously. His fingertips like touching the hat. Like. Uh. Okay. Would be his turn. He doesn't get one. Midas, your turn. <laughs> you can charge over there um, and make a charge attack. I get charge attacks? Uh, you, you, anyone can choose to make a charge attack, yeah. What does that do for me? Uh, it gives you plus two to hit. All right. It's like a yeah, huge I'm big charge. Just as obsessed. Oh. Oh. I'm almost just as obsessed with killing him as he is with getting the hat, so. Oh, yeah. I, I, exactly right. Um, 13 is... Where are we? Uh, it is a miss, I'm afraid. Uh, the real I'm cherry... Oh, oh, the real <laughs> Chef Boy RD. <laughs> Real chef boy. The real chef boy RD. I like that. Boy RD. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, no, unfortunately, you missed him. Your rage is getting in the way. Um, speaking of rage, it is Granny's turn. I actually want to just rage. grab him. I just want to you know, grab you, you him. You can't do Bear that. Him. You're enraged. You're still oh, enraged. I'm enraged. <laughs> grab oh. him and squeeze You're his You're still head in off. kill mode. Granny <laughs> kill. Granny kill. Granny kill. Okay, Granny killing. <laughs> granny killing. I'm, an, I'm a robot. Yeah. Nah. Yes. You hit. Yeah. This guy is all, all, all the all these characters that you guys rolled up for them, they are, are kind of old. Except for the <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Die. Eighteen seventy. <sighs> no, he's not dead. Poor little guy. Is he dead? Yes. <laughs> we did it. You killed my red cap. No, I kind of wanted to keep him. I, I, he was I really cute. Wasn't if he? I wasn't enraged, Granny would have thought differently and she'd been like, I kind of like him. <laughs> let's yeah. change the tune for you a little bit. Here, let's go to something a little bit more enlightening since we um, killed that guy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the music! A little happier. All right, you've killed the little red cap, the nasty, nasty, evil-spirited little fellow with his blood-soaked hat. That was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> why? Just tell me why. Well, you know what? That's what we have reroll recaps for. What? <laughs> oh, snapsies. So, red cap will be featured. A red cap will be featured on the reroll recap this coming week on Tuesday. If you oh, want to find out everything about this little dude, the creature is called a red cap. That's what they're called, a red what cap. The heck? Hi there, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. And if you'd like to follow my personal challenge, you can do so at twitch.tv/gorbad, or follow me on Twitter at gorbad. Hi guys. I'm Bane. If you'd like to hang out with me some more, come chill in my own personal stream at twitch.tv slash Bane1271 or toss me a follow over on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Bane Blackstar. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. I did not see you there. When I'm not playing a badass cleric of St. Cuthbert on How We Roll, I am Shagget. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash shagget, or on Twitter, if you can figure this out, at aneb underscore convos. See you guys. Hey guys, I'm Jane. I play Kieliana on How We Roll, as you probably know. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash janeyvana. I stream sometimes. Or you can follow me on Twitter at jane on twitch, and that is with a zero. Peace, suckers.